One of our basic ideas is that there's that of God, that of the divine in every single person. And if you really accept that, if you really see that that is true, that there's that precious spiritual presence in every single person, you want to be in solidarity. There's a direction to this. It's um, to be better people, better community, better society. I believe God is love, and love is in the details of everyday interactions and relationship and service. A thriving community is one where people are cared for, knowing that they are loved and supported unconditionally by the people around them. DIW has been a core program partner for the American Indian community for over 70 years. Our families trust us. They come to us in times of need for food, for housing. They trust us with their children to teach them, to love them, to help them grow. Our mission at DIW is to provide a safe Indigenous place to empower American Indian families to revitalize health, wellness, education, and self-determination. Our program is a vital part of our American Indian community in St. Paul. The organization does such amazing work. It is really a leader. It has become an institution that is helping to lead the charge in a way that the church by itself cannot, or faith institutions by themselves cannot. It really is a reflection of the fact of what we can do if we work together. We all work together across philosophical differences and, and even, even faith differences to say, what can we do together to change the world as we know it? Interfaith Action is involved in uh, practical ways with organizations in St. Paul that are actually serving the community of St. Paul in really specific ways, whether that's housing or food or literacy. What better gift could we give ourselves and the broader community than to care about the work that's happening and to plug ourselves in where we can? There's a, an ongoing theme in Judaism. The Hebrew phrase is tikkun olam, which means to heal the world. And it's part of a, a wise saying from some of our ancient texts uh, that goes something like this. Just because you can't expect to finish the job of healing the world doesn't mean you can't undertake to start it and to work on it.